On Chapter 10, the story begins with Park ji hyes story, a goldfish that met Yu Shin as a bass, before Park ji hye told Yu Shin that she got snapped by her own neighbor. Then Park ji hye tried to get away from the snapper's car somewhere on a mountain road. She kept running from the snapper because no one could help her. She was running until she found the dead end. Moments later, she tripped and fell into the river. That made her be a goldfish like now. Back to the current situation, Park ji hye asks Yu Shin to stop talking about it. Then she asks him how he could be like this. He tells her that he got betrayed by an ex-colleague. Park ji hye feels sorry because of asking that question. But suddenly, Yu Shin detects a danger. Park ji hye is still asking about who turned them like that, but he shoves her up and tries to figure the danger out. Suddenly, a night hunter moves. It's level 17 Odomtavutis Interrupta. Apparently, it was the same fish that Yu Shin saw before. It may look for a prey, but however, it didn't see them. Seconds later, Park ji hye sneezes. Of course it attracts that big fish. Then they run away together because it starts to chase them. Yu Shin starts to think that Park ji hye doesn't help him at all. Even everything started to go wrong since he met her. Because of that, Yu Shin thinks to leave her alone. But suddenly, Park ji hye makes a very bright light. Turns out, it's her level 1 luminescence skill. Fish don't have eyelids like human to close their eyes. Because of that, they can't stop the sudden stream of light to get into their eyes. That's why, it hurts the fish. While the fish is getting hurt, Park ji hye asks Yu Shin to run away. Unfortunately, Yu Shin's eyes got hurt too because, however, he's still a fish now. Fortunately, they can escape from that fish. Now they're hiding and watch out the environment around. Then Yu Shin asks her to move. But Park ji hye worries that she made him upset because of the sudden light. Apparently, Yu Shin's not upset and asks her again to move quietly. But Park ji hye throws her tantrum and asks to stop. However, Yu Shin decides to let her and go alone. Park ji hye has no choice but follows him. Currently, Yu Shin is thinking about the previous events from leaving the spawning ground to getting into Blue Damsel. He has learned that human has no physical weapon, but they use intelligence. They also gather to catch the predator fish during spring, while those gather to eat the smelt that swim for spawning to upstream. That's the basic knowledge to hunt the Blue Damsels. Suddenly, Park ji hye asks him about how long they must swim. Then Yu Shin answers that they have arrived. Apparently, they have arrived in upstream because it will be the best hunting ground like Yu Shin has thought before. The next scene shows a fisherman with his wife. Apparently, he's waiting for a fish. Suddenly, he feels the hook moving. But when he pulls it, turns out he got nothing. Because of that, he's mocked by his family. Then Yu Shin told Park ji hye that if she touches the wrong hook, the fisherman could catch her. Because of that, Park ji hye should be careful. Park ji hye listens to Yu Shin while eating the baits. She thinks that the baits are delicious, but Yu Shin still thinks about his increased experience. Then he thinks about Park ji hye because he never met someone like her before. He should have left her, but now he thinks that having someone is better than nothing. Apparently, Yu Shin decides to start eating too. On the next chapter, suddenly Yu Shin throws the bait up. Apparently, it is because the bait tastes so bad for him. Park ji hye is worried because of that. Yu Shin wonders about the bait and asks that it's really tasty for her. Then Yu Shin realizes something that he might throw up as soon as he eats it. Then he remembers that in the past, Korea tried to make bass to have high quality protein. The fry basses could grow well, but apparently they would hunt living prey after reached a certain size. So Yu Shin's fish body rejects the bait because he's a bass. He tries once again, but he keeps throws it up. While he's wondering about the reason of throwing it up, suddenly he gained a new experience. His eating skill turns his food become experience points. That's why he thinks to keep swallowing it so he gains more experience points and can be back to his life soon. After some moments, finally his level goes up, but he doesn't feel well. He can't swallow any more of these. The taste of the bait gets worse too because his level goes up. Park Jai is worried about him, but he asked her to not talk with him. Turns out, Park Ji Hye's level also went up because of eating the bait, and this makes Yu Shin pissed. Then he thinks about the resting fish will get up to eat again as the sun rises. Because of that, he needs to get stronger so he can hunt them. Suddenly, he found a fish net. The next scene is back to the previous fisherman. He tells his son to be patient to get the fish. But his son is still impatient and wants to go home. Then the fisherman tries to persuade him by making some food if he waits. But the son argues again that they haven't caught anything. Then the fisherman explains about a shrimp trap and getting some shrimp if they wait more. He also explains that it will be easier to catch some shrimp at night. Apparently, that shrimp trap is the fish net that Yu Shin is seeing now.
Currently, Yushin finds a level 3 raw shrimp there. Because of that, Yushin directly gets in. Moreover, the shrimp can escape from this trap. Then Yushin finally can eat the shrimp. After eating some, he gains some eating experience and his skill goes up. But he still thinks that if only his body grew based on how hard he worked. On the other side, Park Jihai is seeing the fisherman's family. They talk about some food. Apparently, Park Jihai is jealous with that family. She has ever had something like that too. Then the fisherman's daughter asks about what he gets. The fisherman starts to be suspicious because he still gets nothing. Because of that, the fisherman's son was bored and went to his room. But turns out, the son is pulling the shrimp trap out. Then Park Jihai remembers that she should tell Yu Shin if the shrimp trap is pulled out. Because of that, Park Jihei swims fast to Yushin. Apparently, there's a lobster who looks at her from afar. Meanwhile, Yushin turned into level 6. It makes his strength back and his body becomes bigger. Because of that and also the sun will rise soon, Yushin thinks about going back. Suddenly, there's Park Jihei who yells at him so he gets out from there because the boy is pulling the trap. Unfortunately, Park Jihei bleeds. Turns out, it is because of the lobster before. Park Jik Hae thinks that the lobster might be another survivor. He's Jit Jong Gaon who's on level 13 and has explosion skill. Park Ji Hae gets hurt so much in front of the lobster. Yu Shin contemplates to run away now. But suddenly, Yu Shin feels the vibration because the boy is pulling the trap out. Because of that, he has to leave the trap although it's hard for him to do that. While trying to escape, he sees the lobster comes to Park Ji Hae closer. He yells at her to stop squealing and get out of that place together. On Chapter 12, Park Jihei starts to realize that the lobster's name is Ji Jonggen. She asks him why he's doing this. He asks her to calm down and have a talk too. But he hurts Park Jihei again. It makes her rolling so far and hurts her so bad. However, Park Jihei is still trying to convince him to collaborate. Unfortunately, Ji Jonggen hurts her again. Because of that, Park Jihei has no choice but uses her luminescence skill. Meanwhile, Yushin is still trapped in the shrimp trap while it's already on the surface. He can see the son's face now and thinks he's the worst. Then the son says to his dad that he got a fish. But the fisherman starts to scold him because he's not allowed to touch the trap and wait for some time. However, he's curious about what his son got. He realizes that he's a bass while Yushin can't breathe. He thinks that he'll get thrown away since he's not the focus of the fisherman. Turns out he really wants to throw Yushin away. But the son wants to keep it. The fisherman explains to him again and wonders why he can't throw Yushin away. The son starts to throw his tantrum and still wants to keep the bass. Then, the fisherman gives up and lets him to keep the bass. Yes, Yushin is in trouble. Then the son names Yushin as Jaws. He says that he'll take care of him. His mom also wonders about who Jaws is while the son is taking a jar for Yushin's place. Yushin starts to worry about the son's decision to grow him up. Now he really needs to get away because he'll be over if he gets into that jar. However, the son still wants to grab Yushin and moves him to the jar. Meanwhile, Park Jihai is still crying about her current condition. She starts to think what she should do with this condition. She thinks to run but still worries with Yushin. But then she remembers what Yushin said and decides to be brave and fight. However, Park Jihai gets scared because she just saw the lobster. She gets her insecurities again and wonders to keep talking with the lobster. However, the lobster finds her. The lobster attacks her again while she's still thinking about what she should do. Because of that, she gets hurt again, but she's still wondering why the lobster keeps doing it. She wants to talk but the lobster answers that she's just spouting nonsense. The lobster wants to hurt Park Jihai again while saying about the main quest. Park Jihai wonders how he knows it and says that maybe there's a chance to be human again together. Then the lobster realizes that Park Jihai is only wasting his time by keep talking. Just when the lobster starts to attack again, Park Jihai attacks him back. It cuts his claw too. And survival as a fish, part 1 story ends. Thank you very much for faithfully watching from start to finish. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed them. See you again in the following video.